let us study the general introduction of to our state diagram as we know to analyze a clock sequential circuit we need a state table and a state diagram in the previous video we studied the general introduction to the state table next is the state diagram the information which is available in the state table if we have to represent it graphically we need a state diagram so a state diagram is graphically represented through a state table the first thing we should be very clear to this point state diagram is drawn by using a state table as a reference it means if i need to draw a state diagram i need a state table as my reference now this is a state diagram which is i have taken as a journal representation to just giving you an introduction at what is a state diagram now you can see these are some circles these are some directed lines with some arrows now what this basically representing what you see inside a circle are the state variables as we have already discussed in the state table that what are the basic four elements we need for a state table we need state variables that is the present state next state the input and the output now since i have two state variables q a q b which can also be represented by a or b if i have two variables we know that how many combinations will be there to this part two that is four possible input combinations will be there that is 0 0 0101010111 now whatever is written inside the circle is indicating that this is my present state and this present state is being changed to this next state so this directed lines which these are your directed lines these are showing the state transition from present state to the next state now what these are written on the directed lines this is indicating x and y that is it is indicating input of the output this is representing my x which is my external input and from this value of x i got my value of y that is my output so this is a state transition from present state to the next state for this input and for this output now every time you have some input and some output so there will be a state transition 0 0 is my present state if my input is equal to 0 suppose if x is equal to 0 as we have already discussed in the previous video that my previous my external input can have a value of 0 or it can have a value of 1 because as per binary circuit a single digit can be taken either 0 or 1 if my x equal to 0 my output is coming as 0 we will be studying in the further videos taking the examples that how exactly this y is calculated now if i say my input is 0 and my output is also coming as 0 the state this arrow is coming to the same state now this loop is indicating what that it is coming to the same state which means that the state transition from present state itself is coming to the same state now when my input is equal to 1 and output is equal to 0 the state is changing that is from 0 0 to 0 1 this is indicating the present state this is indicating the next state Now, when we come to this state now this becomes a present state here and this becomes the next state now we can see that we have to uh, go as per the arrows from 0 0 the state is changing to 0 1 then it is changing to 1 1 then it is changing to 1 0 and again coming to the same state 0 0 what we have to be very clear about that for what input and uh, and for what output the state is changing so inside the circle what i am getting 
द प्रेजेंट स्टेट फॉर दैट पर्टिकुलर इंस्टेंट फॉर दिस इंस्टेंट दिस इज द प्रेजेंट स्टेट बट फॉर दिस स्टेट दिस इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेट वेन आई एम कमिंग टू दिस इंस्टेंट दिस इज माई प्रेजेंट स्टेट एंड दिस इज द नेक्स्ट स्टेट so every time there is a state transition and the state transition is being indicated through arrows this is a state diagram now in some cases what happens that like there is a state transition for a particular input and a particular output sometimes it happens that instead of this i may have x equal to 0 y equal to 0 x equal to 1 and y equal to 0 means for both x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 the state is changing from 0 0 to 0 1 output is same but for both input as x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 i am getting the next state as 0 1 now in this case what happens now since it is having a value of 0 as well as 1 we take it as a dot gear don't care means it can have a value of 0 or 1 and y is same so y is equal to 0 so instead of this taking as x equal to 0 y equal x equal to 1 y equal to 0 instead of writing it separately we just write it x equal to b and y is equal to 0 this is only when i have a don't care condition i have a don't care condition and when instead of this like if it is x equal to 0 y equal to 0 the state is changing separately and if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 the state is changing differently but if when both the condition the state is same then we use this particular don't care condition thank you so much